Hello, 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 guys. I wanted to go ahead and get a little live in today. I said I'd try to do this for the freedom. Maybe convoys are coming up. I wanted to go ahead and think of a way to go ahead and help them pay for fuel and help them be able to go ahead and get to where they're going and then get back home. And a lot of them are going to be coming down IH-10, which is about 16 miles from this location, which is my warehouse with thousands of doors and thousands of windows and lots of lumber and flooring and all the goodies it would take to make some houses. And so what we want to do is see about the possibility if somebody wants to buy some of these packages for five, six, seven thousand, ten thousand dollars with the windows and doors and floors and everything it takes to build tiny houses and communities that are basically trying to go ahead and promote freedom and healthy children and all American parts and having the elders get together with the kids and teach them how to build houses out of incredible parts. We're going to tear down this entire building and all that two by stock and all the two by on the floor is all going to end up being able to go to houses, hundreds and hundreds of houses. So what I'm thinking is, is that to get this place is normally you have to ship it on truck and it's expensive, but I want to go ahead and ship it on truck and pay the shipping to these truckers to help them move their trucks from one side of the country to the other using loads that we can go ahead and put together and I'll pay the shipping. Several thousand dollars in gas on a package, it might be a $10,000 package of materials and then thousands of that will go to the transport of it to put fuel and food in the bellies of our truckers. This is the bloodline that keeps our country alive. And these truckers, a lot of them, they may lose their jobs standing up for this stuff, but they may want to start a new career. Maybe it's going to be building tiny houses for the communities that are going to be cropping up as people bail out of the cities and say, hey, wait, I want truth, not Trudeau. I want us, not UN. I want freedom, not a jab. I want to go ahead and be able to stand up and speak my truth. I want to create creative houses and chapels. Look, I have an entire chapel sitting here out of borderline of Iowa and Missouri. Two of these big old top windows, four of these big side windows. Example of how do you put a chapel in a, tall, in a tiny village. I have some of this stuff is doors with arched tops and thousands and thousands of doors. Here's a whole front porch. Look at the detail on this, guys. That's just the side light of a front porch. And I've got the roof to go over it. Sets of pocket doors, or sets of doors that go in front of houses. For example, it's all just sitting here waiting to go on trucks, strap it to the side, and help pay for them to ship this stuff to y'all out east, out northeast, wherever I-10 ends up at, wherever those trucks end up at, all the way along there. We could be dropping stuff off, feeding those guys, giving them a nice night's sleep, and a place to shower at in return for helping bring that stuff to them and help pay for that fuel. Because that way they can't take it away as a, as a gift or as a cyber money. This is a bill for hauling freight. I'll do a bill of lading to your house. We ship that material to you. We get people to come here. You come over here and help load it up and give them a rah, 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 sis, boom, ba, and get it on down the road. And when it gets over there, you can help them unload it. This is part of what I'm trying to do. So we don't want to stay too long on the line because everybody always drops off and doesn't stay on if it's more than three or four minutes. This is worth it. Please share. Tell people, we want to put packages together. So if you want a house and the trick was, how am I going to get all my parts over here? It may be a trucker that has an empty load. And we can help pay for that mission. We can help pay for the clothes. We can help pay for the food and the drinks and for his family to be with him in that tiny truck space he calls his home on wheels. Because he lives in it, driving all the time to get your stuff to you. Let's give these guys some support. This is a peaceful movement around the world. Take all these parts I got. Massive warehouse. Take that and build the future with it. All American parts. All American labor. Okay? Join me, guys. Please. We'll get this out as far as we can, but you help. There's a lot of platforms and I'm not on all of them. Share. Please. Do share. Just download it off of YouTube or wherever you find it at and share it back out again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see if we can put together two or three hundred houses on trucks to go one way, and then when they come back going back west, they can pick up some more and take it out west. We might send out 100, 200 houses if we could pull it together. That could be massive amounts of assistance. And then on top of that, if we got some money left over, we'll keep donating more money and keep putting together more packages until we're done. I have enough for 500 houses to go out. As far as I'm concerned, I want as many houses built out of this stuff as I can possibly have happen. Please, help me help you 
create pure salvage outposts where people can build these, elders can help, provide the tools, provide the knowledge so the kids can learn how to do this, and then grow gardens and food, healthy food, and go back to being all American, top quality, something to be proud of. Alrighty? Thank you, thank you. See you later.